Coca-Cola just dropped a holiday ad which was created entirely by AI and it got the internet going crazy. So let's talk about it. So we saw something we haven't really seen before and that is a mainstream brand like Coca-Cola putting out 100% AI, artificial, robot created commercial, shot by shot, created by AI. Do you think this is the future of advertising or is it more just creative chaos and you create really buzz and people talking. Just this week, Coca-Cola, a mainstream brand, used AI to produce a one minute commercial spot that was crazy. Something we haven't seen before, something we know that's possible, but to venture into doing a 100% AI generated ad is new. It's interesting and it's something to talk about. So let's first watch the ad and then react to it and talk about why there's so much controversy around it and what it can mean for you as a brand and your future in advertising. I mean, these shots look pretty sweet, to be honest. You can tell there's kind of that glossy, overly polished look on some of these shots, especially like the humans or like the animals. But honestly, a lot of Coca-Cola imagery, even before this, looked kind of not cartoony, but glossy. And so if anything, Coca-Cola can get away with most of these shots in an ad. You know, and there could be a few human elements into it, that Santa movement. Okay, and I actually saw a 30 second spot version which showed more humans. So I'd be curious if, you know, there's other variations. Let's kind of break up the shots a little bit more. So it opens with this wide shot. Again, it looks real for the untrained eye. Some of these shots could be very convincing. And like I hit on before, you know, Coca-Cola over the years, whether it's the Santa Claus image with them holding the glass Coca-Cola bottle, which has become iconic during Christmas time with Coca-Cola or other images like the polar bears, we know in our mind that a lot of those images are not actually of a real person or a real polar bear where it already is computer generated and AI is computer, a form of computer generation, right? So if anything, it stays true to the imagery that we kind of attached to a lot of Coca-Cola products, advertisements over the years. You know, to be honest, even as a, like a creative person, a marketer, it doesn't bother me too much. If anything, they're willing to try it out despite the potential for controversy, especially from the creative community, and see, hey, even with some backlash where people can be like, well, you're taking jobs away from the, the motion graphics, the animators, the cinematographers, the whole creative crews that can produce this 100% real, guess what? Even after they produce it 100% real, to achieve the visuals shot for shot in these ads, you still have to use computers to generate an enhanced version of each shot. So that's kind of, I think, where the uh, maybe irony or kind of like dissonance is with this and the human backlash to it is that there is still gonna be computers to generate the imagery. So whether it is shot originally or generated with AI, it actually doesn't bother me too much. Um, if anything, it shows the potential for the inspiration and creativity that goes into it because you're still gonna have to generate the initial shot idea. And I guarantee every single shot in this wasn't the first image or video generation produced. They probably had to tweak it a little bit perfect the prompt, and that same thing happens as humans are inputting into the storyboarding, shot list, and creative process. Computers, you gotta do it with too. And so it's a collaborative effort is what I see. Sure, there's cost savings, I'm sure there's the, um, the lost job and hiring opportunities of creative crews to produce this on another scale where everything originally is shot in camera. But like with anything, you know, with AI in general, which is an innovative, disruptive tool now, you can definitely say, I can see where people are coming from, where they leaned in and went too far with the ad. But again, like, well, let's pop up some Im imagery here where you can see whether it's the Santa Claus, the polar bears, other imagery that is 
100% com- computer generated. They didn't hire a human actor and take photos of him as Santa Claus. Maybe they did at some ads, but most of the ones I've seen over the years, all computer generated. So how is this any different from what they've already been doing? So for that reason, I don't feel like there is a betrayal of the brand integrity and the imagery that they've become known for and people have built up trust and loyalty in. So to keep going with some of these other, so like, and, and there's an, another thing too with like, whether it's image to video generation with AI, that there's kind of a tall tell that people are getting to get used to, to know that it's AI with the type of motion that's used, especially coming from humans or animals, where the motion is usually only about five seconds or less, and it's kind of one fluid motion. It may look natural, but uh, it's not like you're getting someone sprinting really fast or doing a more complicated motion. It's usually pretty simple where computers can understand that from point A to point Z, so the end of the shot, the start of the, you know, start of the shot, that the frames get filled in of where the head needs to move from this frame to the final frame in that shot. And so the computer can assume and generate the imagery and fill the frames, um, fill up that gap. And that's kind of what it's doing here. Um, again, though, as a still image, hey, looks great. And even the motion looks normal. However, there is kind of that glossy artistic feel to it. But a shot like this, I would see a shot like this in an ad um, for Coca-Cola. And um, one thing to keep in mind, which is where maybe human could have adjusted or enhanced some of these images. If you go to generate an image with AI, sometimes say the Coca-Cola logo itself would be manipulated or adjusted in a way that doesn't look quite right or blurry in certain areas. I know recreating text at times, AI, still has a lot of work to do on that. I don't want to say I guarantee, but I imagine that a lot of the Coca-Cola imagery was digitally inserted by a human to clean it up, to make it more on brand and accurate. See another, you know, another motion shot only lasts a couple seconds. Um, this shot actually, that looks like a real human hand, um, honestly. So, and a real cool, cool bottle, bottle. So a lot of that shot, you know, I'm sure the background was, you know, this could have been done with green screen. So that shot, and then of course they added that bottle cap pop. This one's glossy. Um, yeah, that's definitely an AI movement of the deer, the bunny, these animals. Even that type of shot, some of that motion Um, I mean, definitely a lot of AI in here, but again, like I I feel like I'm not betrayed from this. And if anything, it's like, it shows the opportunity for more brands to try it out and Coca-Cola knowing that there would be backlash. Honestly, every single commercial put out there always has haters and lovers, (laughs) maybe sometimes a lot more haters and very few lovers or not at all. Right, but what they're doing here is they've created conversation. It gives the entire public, the creative community, the opportunity to talk about it and whether it is something that should be embraced fully like what Coca-Cola did here. And not every brand can can get away with it, incorporating AI that much, but hey, if you're not infringing on copyright and you know there's still people and humans that needed to be involved with this project that got hired, that got paid, I don't think it's a betrayal of the creative community. If anything, it just shows them the opportunity to get involved and see how they can leverage it more. So I I think it's fascinating. And yeah, the visuals are great. And what it does for me too is the years of investment of Coca-Cola in brand building, their visual identity about every shot is kind of like a storyboard image brought to life or um, some form of art brought to life. So my my personal take, maybe apart from some of the animal imagery, which... And I mean, how often do we see monkeys taking an ice bath in a winter landscape? And some of the, like those lights, the polar bear. I would say my favorite imagery are th- iconic ones like this, where it gives me that nostalgic hit of Christmas time associated with Coca-Cola, which is very popular imagery. I think that spot I saw before, uh, you know, a version of this, again, showed more human faces, which was kind of that, that major tell that, you know, there was some human generation there. So talent, actors, you know, potentially lost work opportunities. So I can understand the sentiment there, but um, hey, it's getting people talking about it. You know, it's publicity. I I think it just shows more of what's possible 
than what's not. And that there is an opportunity for brands to incorporate AI. It may not be an image, it may not be a video, vi you know, a visual used and generated by AI, but it could be the written word, it could be voice, it could be music, right? Um, there's always a trade-off when you use AI automation or alternative tools to human input. There's always say like, you can think of it as sure, maybe I lost an opportunity for the human, but created a new opportunity for another human or another type of job of someone who's still gonna have to contribute and collaborate with AI through the process. So for every lost opportunity, there's a new opportunity, right? Every door closed, there's a new door open. And so I think shining a light on the possibilities here, uh, and of course you don't want to infringe on people's autonomy of using their likeness, likeness and image, whether it's photo video and showing their faces in that way from an actor standpoint, um, but original imagery created with AI, as long as it stays in line with your brand imagery and for Coca-Cola in this case, I feel like it does, then try it out. Figure out how to use AI, but don't sacrifice, I always say this now, don't sacrifice human creativity for AI and um, and you feel like you, you're gonna lose customers because of it, uh, avoid it. But if anything, it just gives me that nostalgic hit that I look for out of Coca-Cola. I'm not a big soda drinker myself. You know, Coca-Cola is probably one of my top choices if I were to drink. But uh, yeah, no, I think it shows kind of a curious opportunity here with AI image and video generation. I still feel like video has a ways to go over photo. Um, there's been some very convincing like, photos generated. And so it's something to explore with video is as these computers and intelligences from artificial realm discover how to actually recreate human imagery a lot more accurately, especially in video form, then yeah, like I, I think there's a time and place for it. So try it out, give it a go, um, as long as it doesn't betray the loyalty and trust built um, through your brand with your audience. But let me know what you think about this commercial. Do you think it's the right way to go, the wrong way to go? And do you have any ideas of how you can incorporate it, some of these ideas and strategies into your own brand and marketing? Let me know down in the comments. Thanks for watching, we'll talk soon.